The year was 1974 when Robert De Niro landed the role of a lifetime in The Godfather Part Two as the young mob boss Vito Corleone, a role that earned him, of course, his very first Oscar. A few years later, he went on to star in the Martin Scorsese Oscar-nominated film Taxi Driver, where he delivered that famous phrase, you, you talking, talking to me? me? <laughs> More recently, we saw a different side of De Niro when he took on comedy playing Jack Burns and the overprotective dad in that funny movie, Meet the Parents. It was so funny, mm -hmm. but possibly his most enduring legacy will be creating the Tribeca Film Festival, where Chanel caught up with him. Hi, Chanel. I, I, I am with nice. Jane Rosenthal, too, I right? had quite the delightful time. It yes. actually was. We laughed a lot. I made my way downtown to Lower Manhattan to catch up with the Hollywood legend himself, Robert De Niro, and yes, his film festival co-founder, Jane Rosenthal. Take a look. Sarah Jessica Parker, John Legend, and Tina Fey were just a few of the A-list celebrities at this year's Tribeca Film Festival, which celebrated its 17th year. Does it feel like time has flown by, or does it seem like each and every year was its own jewel? I mean, you can account for every year, but it does seem quick. And this year, 46% of the films were created by women. It almost feels like there's a bubbling and, and we're really moving and shifting. Does it really feel that way? Like time is, the change is here. I, yeah, I feel that it's here. I don't see how it can, can change to go back to the, what it was before. I think it's real this time. Well, Pandora's out of the box and she's <laughs> pissed, so. Can I steal that? Absolutely. Kicking off this year's festival was the documentary Love Gilda, the story about Gilda Radner, a groundbreaking comedian on SNL's first five seasons. If it's not one thing, it's enough. What is it about that film uh, that made you say, you know what, this is going to be our opening doc? It was about an iconic New Yorker who broke all kinds of barriers in, in comedy and uh, live television. Aside from great films, the festival also offers Tribeca Talks. Robert De Niro sat down with Academy Award nominee Bradley Cooper in front of a live audience. It's like eavesdropping on two friends. It's eavesdropping on two people having a conversation. Is there anything about Bradley you really want to know? No. <laughs> <laughs> This fall, you can see Bradley Cooper star alongside Lady Gaga in his directorial debut, A Star is Born. He was always interested in behind the camera stuff when we did Silver Linings, and so I think now he had his chance to do uh, A Star is Born, and I think hopefully he'll give him a chance to do something else. Another unique addition, the 33 virtual reality exhibits. We feasted on the virtual reality film Dinner Party about the first American report of a UFO abduction. What's the dinner to make this guy? This is fascinating. So a woman just broke a dish, and we're down on the ground with this. It feels like you're in the room. This is really cool. That's unlike anything I've ever done before. No, it's, it's great. Next, we went for a virtual swim with the sharks in Into the Now. Are you afraid of sharks? Aside from the film fest, Jane and Robert are working on the upcoming mob film, The Irishman. Jane is a producer, Martin Scorsese directs, and De Niro stars. There's going to be another Scorsese-De Niro matchup. What can you tell us? I said, Marty, this is really what we should be doing. This story is great. It's about a, a guy who basically confesses uh, that he killed uh, Joe Gallo and Hoffa. Simple, but real. Photos taken during shooting reveal Robert making a big fashion statement with platform shoes. I wore them to be higher than the other uh, characters. I just saw these shoes with yeah. these, and I'm 4'11", so I was kind of intrigued by, oh, okay. you know, maybe... Well, I can get you a pair of <laughs> Women Where wear higher ones, I was just about heels. to say. Mine were like three inches. They wear four-inch heels or whatever. And yours were flat all the way yes, across. Yes, and I asked for that. Because the other one, when I had to wear those two little... It's like wearing high heels, and it affects your walk. So, Welcome to our world. Yeah, I, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I have to tell you, yeah. they're very laid back. He was mm -hmm. quite delightful. After he was that, very forthcoming because yeah. he can be—he can just sort of keep it to himself. Yeah. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. And then when he found out I was from Kansas, he kept singing this song. Yeah. And I don't know what, what it was. It? And we took a picture after it, and he kept going. And I, I should have just said, what, what song? I yeah. don't know. Oh. Somebody who knows or I don't know. Call me. All, All right. right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.